All right. Good morning, everyone. We welcome back. We are here to color our Batman this week. So we're going to do two more videos. Um, we're going to begin the coloring today and most likely finish the coloring next time. Uh, each video I do is about 30 to 40 minutes and they are broken up into parts, as you will see on my in my collection of videos. Um, so today and once again, I'm going to put all the colors that I use into the video description so you do not have to write them down you do not have to remember them they will be there for you um, it is a great idea to do color swatches where you see what the colors look like on paper because remember when copics go down on paper they are always a little bit darker when they're wet and lighter when they're white so if you let them dry see what they look like and then you're able to pick and choose which colors you want to use for your piece so we are going to Begin with the grays of the suits. We're pretty much going to go with traditional Batman colors. It'll be gray of the suit, kind of a yellow for the utility belt, blues for the cape, boots, and gloves. And then we'll pretty much worry about the background probably next time. Um, so I'm using neutral grays on the, uh, the legs and torso and arms. I'm starting out with an N2, which is my one of my lighter grays. And a lot of this work has already been done with the ink work that we did last week. And so this is just going to help accent that. And if you haven't already, and I think most of my erasing has been done, but just in case there are any more areas where pencil lines are left from our original pencil drawing. Now would be the time to clean those up and remove those. just a balance between your middle grays and your light grays and try to get a good blend in there remember when you work wet on wet the colors will blend together pretty well and so I do a one 
section one one body part at a time so I'm not doing the whole thing one value of gray and then another the whole thing another value of gray I'm trying to working on one area at a time so as I try to get those blends I don't want to just do a solid gray over the whole thing utility but we're going to use two yellows a cadmium yellow and a yellow ochre the yellow ochre is going to brown it up a little bit I don't want it to be bright bright yellow and the cadmium is a little brighter but it's going to be my undertone and then we'll do yellow ochre right over the top So just apparently give it a little bit of shadow. It just warms it up a little bit. Still yellow. It, it's uh, Some people compare it to orange, but you don't want to make the utility belt orange per se. And 
And then on the gauntlets and boots, I've chosen three colors. I'm going to start with our Thalo Blue, B23. And it's a little bit lighter. And through the inking process, we did a lot of highlights. And I'm not trying to, you know, get rid of those highlights altogether. I'm going to leave some of them. Which gives us our form.
Let's bring a little shadow under the cape, um, but allowing some of the highlights to, to show up. So that lighter blue followed by the darker blue really kind of helps develop the form on the head and the mask and the cowl. I think out of all of our steps, penciling may take the most, well, actually inking takes the most time and concentration. Sketching is kind of free and fun, um, refining the lines. Inking, obviously time consuming. Coloring is just kind of when it all comes together. And um, that's fun too. So I'm going to work on gray for the stone down here. Um, more blues and maybe some yellows for the lights and stuff. Some some pale yellows and some of the lights, but a different um, grayish stone down here that's going to be darker than. Well, I have to figure that out. How, how dark I want to go. Still do it just one section at a time. I don't, you know, this is a pretty wide area here, and I may end up going with some longer strokes. I'm going to go tight on the line here, kind of like when you're painting. You know, all your strokes kind of want to go one way. Just to whatever streaks you may have you want those lines you can work with those lines in your drawing it doesn't have to be just this solid solid gray Started with a neutral gray three, and this is a four. So it's going to be a little darker. Actually, where's my two? Over here, here it is. My two is losing some juice.
Changing directions can also help with the blend. If you go one way one time and then another way horizontally and vertically, you'll be able to get a better blend. Adding layers. You can work wet on wet and you can work wet on dry. And so even if you allow the layers to dry between applications, you're still able to um, change the values pretty well. Using alcohol markers is really a lot more like painting than it is anything else. Well, that is going to wrap it up for us today. Uh, next time we will finish the background and, and uh, do some skin color here on the face. And we will be done. So thanks very much for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click subscribe so you do not miss the next one. Have a great day. God bless.